during the recent war arc of My Hero Academia, there were dozens of casualties and losses. During the height of the conflict, it appeared we were witnessing the end of Deku's arms. He was willing to sacrifice it all to carry out his duty, to end Shigaraki and all for one, once and for all. The foreshadowing was strong. During the fight, we were directly reminded that Deku was warned not to push it again. We all wondered what would happen after the fight. Would Deku need prosthetics? Would Eri be the answer? We all had guesses. What ended up happening though was a support item was acquired to protect his arms. All Might had ordered them from America just before the borders were closed and we were told they were samples made for endurance. However, they wouldn't survive Deku's power at 100%. Now, this support item is actually nothing new. This is something we were all familiar with. After all, it was really similar to something we saw in the first My Hero Academia movie, Two Heroes. It was short-lived in the movie, and actually short-lived in the manga also, considering it is now currently wrecked as of chapter 312. It kind of makes you wonder what was the point, but maybe there are backup pairs on standby somewhere. If not, there is definitely another solution to Deku's issue on the way, and this could literally be anything, so I won't bother speculating on it right now. However, what we found worth discussing is the background on how the support item ended up being created, how Melissa ended up being Deku's hero. It began on the day she was diagnosed as corkless. Upon hearing the news, her father Dave would immediately try to comfort her, reminding her that his quirk is useless and never comes in handy. The quirk being squirmy fingers, a quirk labeled as mostly useless but he'll never stub his fingers. With a fake smile, she'd tell him that she's okay, but what she was really thinking was it felt like they were telling her she could never be a hero. And in a way, I guess they were. Like Deku, as a child, she admired heroes, people who used their quirks to save others. On another specific day, her friends wanted to play hero, something we've now seen in a few backstories, notably that of Shigaraki and also Deku. So I guess it's really just something very popular in this world that kids like to do. Anyway, on this day specifically, her friends wanted to play hero and intended to use their quirks in this game, but then they swiftly remembered that she's quirkless. An innocent mistake, but one that surely hurt her, as you'd imagine. She would, in response to the situation, opt to be the one that gets saved by heroes. It was something she had to cope with, and so she was fine with it, to an extent. But she was the only one without a quirk, and so of course, it hurt. On a different day, she'd find her father Dave asleep in his workspace and ask him if he ever wanted to be a hero. To this, he'd smile and say he'd never dreamed about it because his quirk isn't suited to save others. Just then, All Might would appear to request costume maintenance. He'd recognize Melissa, but she didn't recognize him, so I guess it's safe to say they hadn't seen each other in a while. And Melissa would go on to say that he's drawn in a completely different style. It would be explained that All Might is a hero from Japan, and he works with Dave. Dave had developed a new material that's better at shock absorption and during this exchange, it would all sink in for Melissa. This was a hero who her father had helped by making a costume for him. This moment would be interrupted though. A man would come warning Dave that a tornado had appeared nearby. They needed to evacuate. This tornado was causing a lot of damage and so All Might would go off to help, starting by stopping a car that was blown away by the tornado from hitting a man. All Might did this effortlessly. In his head, he thanked Dave's costume for making him able to do this so effortlessly. I'm not sure the costume really helped him do that, but maybe helped him do it in style. As funny as all this sounds, All Might would then punch the tornado away. Everyone was left amazed. This would confirm to Melissa that when you have a strong quirk, you can be a hero everyone counts on. And I guess this just confirms that All Might is a weatherman's worst nightmare. We've now seen him change the weather at least twice in the series. Melissa would be quick to admire All Might after this, saying that he's so cool, more than her who's quirkless with no power of her own. Her words, not mine. All Might would then have her examine his unscratched costume, a costume that can withstand villains and natural disasters. To All Might, her father Dave is a hero. He's All Might's hero. Through this and Dave confirming it, Melissa would then decide that this is what she wants to do. She would here decide that someday, the item she makes will help someone. Someday, she'll be someone's hero. And then we'd see a shot of Deku as a child enduring his own challenges. Definitely foreshadowing there and of course in the movie where we originally saw the support item. My only wish is that we can see Deku and Melissa interact again, preferably in the manga next time. Not sure it'll happen, but just a wish. But yeah, what did you guys think of the connection between Deku and Melissa? Personally, I find it really cool that she hoped to one day be someone's hero and it seems now that this is what has happened. She saved Deku. 
she allowed him to be able to use his arms and continue saving others. To be clear, I am assuming the item was made by her. It wasn't explicitly stated, but it seems like a safe assumption when we consider the movie and yeah, this chapter. But yeah, this is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like to help out the channel and comment your thoughts on all of this. And tell me I can't be the only one that finds it weird that the item was destroyed like two chapters after being introduced. But yeah, with that said, be sure to subscribe to Plotter with notifications on to never miss an upload. We upload almost daily and we'd love to have you join in on our discussions. And to support the channel even further, check out our Patreon link in the description below. If you guys aren't aware, we do have a giveaway going on our very first giveaway on Instagram where you have a chance to win all 27 volumes of My Hero Academia or all 25 volumes of Black Clover, up to you. Be sure to check out the link in the description below to have a chance at winning all that. And over there, you'll also be able to follow our Instagram and Twitter pages where we keep you up to date on all the latest anime and manga news. Until next time, keep that plot armor on you. I'm KJ. Have a great day. Goodbye.